everyone, welcome back to One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today I thought I would open up one of the neater sets that I think was an online exclusive over at Tops this season, and that is the Tops Times Cal Ripken Jr. 2131 set. Now, here's what this has. It is a 50 card complete set, and it was curated by Cal Ripken Jr. Here's what it says on the back. Hall of Famer Cal Ripken Jr. has teamed up with Tops to create his very own trading card set commemorating the 25th anniversary of his record-breaking 2,131st consecutive game played. Now, to be fair, he did that against the Angels. I will never forget it. The historic set is curated by Cal himself, featuring unparalleled storytelling and visuals that capture not only the streak, but all the moments and figures that played a role in it. And there's a chance to get some Cal Ripken Jr. autographs in here. So a very neat set. If you were around right after the strike um, of 1994 when Cal Ripken broke the record, he, a lot of people say Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa saved baseball um, with the home run, with the home run um, record falling. But I believe that it was Cal Ripken Jr. because no one was going to games, but then we had a guy that played the game right, played the game day in and day out longer than anyone had played it, and it captured the imaginations and really brought people back to the spirit of what baseball was. Cal Ripken played a large part in saving baseball after the 1994 strike and the cancellation of that World Series. So... um and because as an Angels fan, when he broke it against the Angels, I remember when it happened. I was watching the game. It was a very special moment in baseball history. So excited to see what Cal Ripken himself thinks about the streak and how it plays out in a 50-card baseball card set that Topps produced here a couple weeks ago as an online exclusive over on their website. So... Let's see. Let's make sure we got everything. Okay, yeah, we got everything out of the box. Let's see what the cards are and see if we get any parallels or anything like that. Even if I don't, I think it's just going to be a fun set to remember what Cal Ripken Jr. was for the game of baseball and how much he meant to the survival of baseball after the 1994 season. So here we go. In 1978, there's the MLB draft card. And then we have the first time playing to wired. We'll take a look at the back of some of these. Uh, the year was 1980, and Cal was a 19-year-old prospect who was assigned to Double A Charlotte. Manager Jimmy Williams, who was a coach for the Orioles when they won the World Series in 83, penciled Ripken in for all 144 games that season. Ripken responded with the best power numbers in his career at that time, 25 home runs and 78 RBIs, but said that by August he was exhausted and couldn't get a hit to save my life. Oh, to be young again. So then we have the call-up to the big leagues. So his call-up happened in 1981. Cool card. Then we have game number one of the streak. So there's game number one. And as we, we can read through these cards and kind of follow Cal Ripken's career, which is just awesome. Um, in 1982, he won the AL Rookie of the Year Award. And so look at these old uniforms. These are kind of a neat, kind of neat uniforms here. And then by 1983, he had made the World Series. Um, on the heels of an outstanding 1982 season, the, the 83 Orioles squad was primed for strong postseason contention. After finishing the season first in the AL East Division and winning the ALCS, Baltimore was in the World Series facing the Phillies. Cal played in all five games of the series, which the Orioles won four games to one. This was the team's first championship title in 13 years. Then we go to 1983 where he won the MVP. We got a President Reagan card. President Reagan is manager for the day. I do not, I did not know that this happened. This is why I like sets like this. So a President Reagan card. Um, and then we have the ankle injury versus Texas. And this is going to be in 1985 hosting the Texas Rangers for a two game series. Cal now, now in his fifth big league season injured his ankle on a pickoff play at second base in the second game, and it looked like he would possibly be out of the lineup to recover. With Toronto doing town in two days, Cal rested the ankle and sat out during the team's ex uh, the 
exhibition game with the Naval Academy. When it was game time, Cal was right back in the lineup, going two for three with an RBI and a 7-2 win. And we have his 100th career home run card. Then we have his dad play, plays for Cal Sr. That's when his dad became the manager. Then we go to the 1,000th career hit. Then when he started with his brother, Billy, who is infamous in the card hobby for the FF card in 1989 Fleer. So the Ripken family all with Baltimore. And then the consecutive innings streak was snapped in 1987. Um, the 1987 season was special in that it provided an opportunity for the three Ripken men to be on the same team together, but it wasn't without hardships. During a particularly tough game in Toronto on September 14th, Cal Sr. thought it would be best to sit Cal Jr. out for an inning. To take the monkey off his back, as Cal Sr. said later, it was the first time Cal Ripken was replaced in a game since June 4, 1982, breaking a consecutive innings played streak of 8,243. So then we have Cal Ripken's 1,000th consecutive game. Then we have his 200th home run card. Then we have his final at bat at Memorial Stadium. And then we have the 1991 AL Most Valuable Player Award. And that card looked like it may have been like a parallel or something. Then we have another injury that happened versus Seattle. But obviously he played through it. Then we have his 2000th career hit, which was recorded on July 10th, 1993. Then we have Cal Ripken surpasses Ernie Banks with 278 home runs at shortstop. And then he continued on and hit his 300th home run. And then we have his 2000th consecutive game on August 1st, 1994. And he ties Lou Gehrig with 2,130 consecutive games played. And it should be against the Angels. As the 1995 Major League season flipped the calendars to September, the baseball world began to shift its attention to the September 5th contest between the Orioles and the Angels. This would be the evening that Cal would finally tie Lou Gehrig's mark of 2,130 consecutive games played, a feat 13 seasons in the making. Cal didn't let the spotlight distract him from having a solid night at the plate, going 3-5 for five with a home run, after the Orioles won the game 8 to nothing, a ceremony was held on the field to honor the achievement. And then, in the post-game ceremony, he received a gift from Frank Robinson. And then the morning of the record-breaking game, signing autographs. And then he's got his family. Precious home run and record-breaking game. And then another president, Bill Clinton was there. There's Al Gore in the background. Look at how young Al Gore is in that picture. <laughs> That's hilarious. Then we have Hank Aaron attending the game. And then we have banners on warehouse changes to 2131. And then he thanks the fans with the lap around Oriole Park at Candom Yards, which that stadium had just been built. It was one of the, it still is one of the nicest stadiums. Um, so he gives a speech. And then at 2,632, he plays in the last game of the streak. So the streak ended as the 1998 season was winding down. Cal made the decision that the time had come to end his consecutive games played streak. The final game, his 2,632nd, was a 5-3 win over the Yankees, played on September 19th. It would not be long until during batting practice the following day that Cal would inform his manager, Ray Miller, that he thought it was time. So 2,632. Then the clubhouse talk with Ernie Miller. And then a day of rest for Cal. Cal Ripken's first day sitting on the bench. Then we have a behind-the-streak moment. There's Brooks Robinson, Eddie Murray, B.J. Surhoff, the name you don't hear too much in the hobby today, Brady Anderson, Earl Weaver, Lou Gehrig, 
obviously a name beyond. I don't know that that name was behind the streak. Um, we've got Cal Ripken Sr., Vi Ripken, Billy Ripken, Rachel and Ryan Ripken, which is his family. Then game one, game number one of the streak ball. That's a cool card right there. I like that. And then we have the lineup card from game number 2,632 and the 2131 Rock presented to Cal. And then it ends on a checklist. So a very, very cool set commemorating what Cal Ripken was to the game, what the streak was to the game. For you guys that do not remember um, the streak or were maybe too young, one of the finest moments in all of baseball history and it's very cool to have a set like this um, to kind of remember that and to be able to pass it on to my kids. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please throw over to first, hit that like button for me, comment below. Let me know what you remember about Cal Ripken's streak, uh, what it meant to you. If you think that it was bigger than the home run um, chase that Mark McGuire, Sammy Sosa, and Ken Griffey Jr. had. And... In the meantime, I hope you guys are having great luck on your personal pack polls. I hope that you guys are being good to your family, being good to your friends, being good to your neighbors. And with that, I'm going to sign off until next time. Take care.